Hello, my name is Gary Long, the inventor of the rope bat, and I'm here today to show you how to swing it correctly and start developing your perfect swing. Never hit a real ball that won't give you any feedback and it'll destroy your rope bat. Use only smush balls, jugs two light balls, or wiffle balls with your rope bat. I like to use the larger size simply because they sit up higher on the tee and they're easier to hit. Use only tees with a soft rubber cone like this tee. The ATEC yellow, which is hard as a rock, or the Jugs black tee, which is equally hard, will destroy your rope bat. Don't use them. The rope bat head represents the sweet spot of your bat, not the length of your bat. Right, the sweet spot on your bat is the area that has the least amount of vibration and contact and where you have the highest exit velocity. For a 28 inch bat, we want to put the grip ring indicator on 28. This is a 28 inch bat, and you can see with the grip ring indicator set at 28, it matches the sweet spot perfectly. You might consider going to 27 for a brief time to get the hang of it because a little bit shorter might be a little bit easier. We don't want it too short, and we certainly don't want it too long. If you swing a 33 or a 34 inch bat, there's no reason to use the grip ring indicator. Just go to the end of the bat and swing it from there. So now that we got the correct grip, let's put it where it needs to be, up on your shoulder, hands by your collarbone. This is the same place a real bat would be if it was wrapped. Point the grip end at the catcher. Get the bat head on your spine between your shoulder blades. Don't let it dangle. We can't hit from there. We can't be connected and make a good swing. Learn to decelerate after going through the hitting zone. We're gonna go fast through there, but then we slow it down. All great hitters have a great swing. And that means that they swing with their body, not their arms and hands. That's the whole crux of the rope bat. We start with the lower body going first, and when the lower body goes, the upper body comes as well. And guess what else comes? The hands. Now with the real bat, it's rigid. With this, we gotta go fast. We have to take the slack out of this rope. Keep it tight, swing it hard. Don't take it off this way. Don't drop it this way. Leave it on the shoulder, swing right there. The impetus of the swing starts here. Your spine is the axis that we're going to rotate around. Another critical thing to do is keep your hands inside. We want the hands right here, elbows down. We don't want to reach. Now we've moved the axis. We want to create kinetic energy. Simply by turning our hips brings the torso, the upper body, which are connected to the hands and the arms, all in sync, creating tremendous kinetic energy. This just unfolds. We do not have to make this happen. The hands simply hold the bat. That's all they do. As we get to this point with lag, we want to continue the rotation and this angle until we get about to this point and then allow the bat head to release. It will do that on its own. We don't have to make that happen. In fact, if we make it happen, we've lost connection with the spine. Now, this is the axis instead of this being the axis. Releasing the bat head too soon is a cast and it costs you power. The rope bat cures common swing problems like casting, like looping, letting this thing, letting the bat head fall because of gravity, that's a loop or hitching, which is dropping the hands first and then swinging. The rope bat forces three more things the hitter has to do. They have to keep their hands inside. We can't reach. We want to get on plane and we want to utilize lag. This, right, this is a tool I use to show my kids what plane is. Plane is the angle that the ball is coming from the pitcher. But we're going to get on plane here before we get to the ball, and then we're gonna stay through it. That's what happens when you hit a line drive, your own plane. 
and that's what we want. Line drives, hard hit with pot. I want to emphasize that the Robat is a swing train. It's not a hit train. Anybody can hit a ball. You can Google a monkey hitting a ball and find it. Hitting a ball with authority, with the correct swing, is a problem. You can't find a quicker, better way to learn a great swing than the rope bat.